This is a box. No shit, Sherlock. And in this box is a first generation Sonos Play 5. Of course, this is a dead unit. I got it for 15 euros uh, because they just cannot afford a working one. And I do not want to take apart something that is still working because here, all I am interested in is the uh, speakers that are inside. I'm really curious about what's inside. And I know you guys do not see anything right now, so I might actually just do it like that. And hopefully I see what I'm doing. And here it is. Later. And here we have it. The first generation Sonos Pay 5. And this thing is actually way slimmer than what I thought. I think the second generation one is way thicker. This is a base port design here. We have two base ports. I will actually try to plug this thing in to see if it even does anything before taking it apart. Here it is without the front grille. Uh, turns out that this thing does not even react to anything when you plug it in, so it's completely dead. Um, so here you have the driver's layout, two dome twitters, I think they are one inches. Seems like we have some three inches mid-rangers and a four or four and a half inches um, subwoofer driver, which is right here in the middle. So, we will just take this thing apart. Yeah, this is annoying. I think that in order to remove the tweeters, you just need to twist them. There we go. There we go. Well, those are insanely nice. And of course, the push terminal here is locked. So, the tweeters are both glued. Uh, I tried and this is just not coming off. Quite stupid, to be honest, to glue those tweeters, but anyways. Here are the two mid-range uh, drivers, which are actually full ranges. Um, anyways, let's take that subwoofer driver. And this is really the interesting part here for me. Uh, this is really the speaker I wanted. Um, even if I have to say that I really wanted to get the new Dino versions of those mid-rangers, well, full rangers, uh, but I had no hopes. And there it is. There we go. So, here you can have, and take a look inside, at the amplifier section here, which is really not bad for such a small speaker. And here we have the two uh, ports. I will take these two, always handy to have, and there we go. The base port from the Sonos Play 5 Gen 1. So here we have them, the speakers from the Sonos Play 5 Gen 1. Um, I have to say I am really impressed by how those speakers actually look, um, especially the mid-range, full-range here. Um, the woofer driver is also a beautiful piece of art. So yeah, very, very impressive here. So we are three weeks after. Um, here at the end, I am talking about an Harmon Colon gunplay that I was supposed to get, but the guy decided to never send it to me. So yeah, shame for me. By the way, talking about things that I got, I also got another Google Home, so I will soon be able to test those. Um, I really wanted to have a pair before testing it, that's why it took me so long. With that being said, those will of course be tested. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we will see us in the next one. I can't.